Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. And then his Mono Green Stompy. Mono Green Stompy is a deck that uh, has always been in like the tier 2-ish things in, the, in standard. But right now, there, it actually got a lot of new tools. One, and mostly the most important one, is uh, Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider. You've been like watching some Kaldin content, you for sure got against this card. And it's a 6 mana 6-6 six, six Trample Haste that doubles your counters and halves theirs, meaning that the sagas don't work against you. And meaning that Garrick's Unleashed immediately emblems. Vivian just comes in with a lot of loyalty. But that's just a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of trouble. A lot of trouble for sure. The deck is also playing Blizzard Brawl. Blizzard Brawl. Thank you, Jawadi. Welcome, 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 Jawadi. For the 12 months. Alright, alright, you got a, you got a new badge. You got a new badge. How is it? All right. Yeah, we're talking about this this deck tag and the Blizzard Brawl, which is a very powerful card. It's a, it's really good. It's one mana, and it's like plus one plus zero and indestructible. All it requires you is to put no cover forests over regular woods one. That's a that's a strong card. It's two plus two against the aggro decks. Snake Skin Veil is another new one, and it's similar to um. Ranger's Guile, but much stronger because it puts a counter on the thing, and that that that's a, that again. It's a big difference. Again, two plus two. Sword Shambler, also known as Hungerback Walker. Nissan or the Beetle is always like, you know, this card that you play and you're like, eh, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna grow maybe. How many good is good? All right, In Search of Greatness. Now this is a card that I'm seeing room. The only playing one. Pretty sure I was playing Boar. I honestly don't believe this card is good at all. But I'm very interested in trying this out. This type of cards always remind me of like Mulligan, because you pay something and nothing happens. And uh, yeah, in search of greatness is that. Thank you to Sebastian and WCS. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. Four and six months, that's a lot of support. All right, new cards again. Old Growth Troll, three mana, four, four trample. That's already good enough. And then when this dies, it comes back and blah, 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 blah. Pretty strong. What else do we have that's new? Nothing really. Oh, Castle Garenbrig. It's important now. I'm, I'm pointing it out because it lets you cast Boring Flex ahead of Curve. And that's no joke. Like, casting Boring Flex on turn five, it's strong. Strong, strong, strong. And then Garrick again, very good with Boring Flex because it doubles the counter and this can emblem immediately. And the emblem of Garrick is actually very good. It's you got an emblem with at the beginning of your end step, you may search your library for a creature and put it into battlefield. That's not a joke. The sideboard has Torn Mammoth, which somehow I already had it. It's in the like pre-release packs or I don't know, commander things. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a seven mana six six trample. It's not in the in the actual set of Throne of the Drain. It's just it's just a big dude, a kind of play you just fight. When Torn Mammoth or another creature comes to play, you just fight. Same thing with Kogla. The cyber is... Man, look at the cyber, it's so expensive. How is this even possible? I played 24 lands. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No snow creature land? No. We played too many. Three green, three green, two green. Lots of double green. I don't, I don't know. Man, I don't, I don't think we can afford to play all the six and seven drop. But I guess, I, I guess I just trust the list right now, and that will make changes lately. On the green and draft is all I love about magic. Nice, nice. Opponent goes first. My hand. I mean, see, this is a problem because what do you do? What do you do with these hands? Like that, that's an important problem. You have two lands and like expensive card. I think I'm keeping it, but man. I mean, I think I have to keep, but... Kick kiss. Let me see you get Banneret. <laughs> Alright, I guess, I guess, I guess Warriors. This is a Warrior. There are some synergies for Warrior. 
<laughs> I'm surprised. How do I miss Reason Reef? I don't know. I think on the things that I miss in my life, Reason Reef uh, isn't really up there now. Do you want me to do a, a standings of things I miss the most? Uh, Rubik Marvin. Waiting is the pro move. What? What is it? Search of goodness. I know. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think that card is good, but I'll, I'll try it out. I mean, it's just a one, so you can't really flood out. All right. Pony has played a bunch of cards. We're playing... Uh, I mean, I can just go Gem Razor and just... And just attack for, for four. Not bad. Or I can just play Mr. Yorvo. I'm afraid of Winota here. Oh. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Well, well it was... Man. Eli, do you remember what event that was? We were in Long Beach, California. Actually, we were in Los Angeles. Doing some shooting for the world's trailer. Man, life was good. Life was good. Wizards had wizards had so much money. Wizards had so much money to spare. They even like paid a freaking like studio for a trailer for the worlds. And this event worlds was like ten. This event world had like less price total than the money they spent for the trailer of the worlds. That's insane. Sometimes I just remember those things and it feels like it's a different life, honestly. It just feels like it's a different life. Life, uh, no, but for real, free food. Yeah, so much free food. I remember I was like so sick because I ate so much that day. I just can't stop eating free food. But other than that, it was, it was crazy. Like I've never treated like a star like that day. Like that day, I actually felt special. I there were I think that I would never feel that way in my life probably. Like I was I was actually a superstar. Like everybody was like, "Oh, you're scamming." Uh, Allora, un attimino. I'll fight this with that. Here's come Mr. Mangucci. Mr. Mangucci, come here. And all those stuff. Oh, man, that's so so good. There was like free, like we went to the wardrobe to take clothes and I kept the clothes. I kept the clothes. Like, like they were giving me clothes to wear in those like shootings and etc. And I kept them. I didn't have to return. I was like, all right, here's the clothes that you gave me. They're like, no, no, they're yours. Come on, they're mine. They can't be mine. I mean, they're just clothes. Why, why? Why do we have to keep freak? You know, I was I was so amazed by all this. Like it's like as if I was playing like a Seagate band or I didn't stand there. I'm like, no, this isn't I I I don't want to keep this clothes. I'm like, oh you wear them. Like we can't get we can't we can't have them back. I'm like, okay, I, I guess. I guess I'll I'll keep the clothes. I don't know. <laughs> Man. Towards the end, it was a little bit boring because, like, we were just sitting there. There was no internet, so we couldn't do anything. But it's fine. Oh, the thing I remember you the mo I remember the most was there was a woman whose job, like, this is funny. The the um there was a woman whose job was to motivate us in the end. That that was her job. Her job was to go. Come on, guys, you can do it. Die, die, bye, bye, vamos, vamos. That was her job. Like, she was just there at, like, I don't know, what was it, like 11 p.m. Everybody was so tired. Like, all right, let's go, let's go. Big, big cheers, big smiles. And we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so basically, that was it. That, that, was, that was her job. It's, it's, you know, you'll never, you'll never stop learning. You'll never stop learning. And that was it. Abine, I'll um, I'll click some buttons here. I I don't know what I'm doing. Obviously, I think I'll cut Garrick actually. Uh, actually, I want I want at least one more in close. I think Kogla's good in this matchup. Vivian is all right. The problem with Garrick is that it just it just sucks. I mean, that's what just problem with Garrick. It's just not a good card. All right, I'll uh. One veil. You can never go wrong with one veil. 
Do you remember playing arena with Marcio? Yeah, but it was for the for the for the third for the for the video, right? Free food is motivation enough. Actually, that's the opposite, Tyrant. Because they gave us so much free food that towards the end, I was like, I was, I was, I was done. I ate so much that day because there was basically nothing to do but eating. Okay, so it's like if you were like in a, <laughs> it was just we were fed continuously, and towards the end, we were just oh, I can't move anymore, and 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 you still had to do some things. Exactly, Firanur. Our opponent with their one starting drop. Add Pepo Fat. Yeah, the only the only super moderator of this channel who was able to do literally anything mod related was Sidetrack. Maybe when Sidetrack is back, I can ask him if he has free time. I can ask Nami if he has free time. How did the color the five color list do after all? You can go exclamation mark deck. And um you can check how the, all the decks do. All right, so in my hand, I have a mulligan. This is actually a five card in hand. You'll be like, that's not true, Mangu. You don't have a mulligan. All right, I don't have a mulligan. Let's try it out. Let's play two mana. Nothing happens. Attack for one. <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, I can see this card doing something. Like, next time I cast this, this turn after I can cast this for free. Woo, cast this for free. Woo. <laughs> Woo, things for free in two turns. Bonjour Eternal, how was draft? We we lost the final. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. We went we went uh, six three. We were six zero. We went six three, which is fine, I guess. Woo! Woo! Free mana! Free mana! What's good in historic with Cal name? No idea. Hey, that's true. F F three F two. You can do that. That thanks, I'll cast this thing for free. No, I mean obviously like this is good right now. Like let's not let's not fool let's not fool ourselves, right? We're I'm a big fan of fooling myself, but that's not one of those cases. Like now this card is actually good here. But actually I can't I can cast this or I can't cast this for free, right? Oh top, pita questo, spram. No, you don't you don't block it? Vabbè, allora se non block it, boom, boom. I'm not attacking with QB because I have to play this for free next turn. Discard a card. Play. Wait, what was that? Exactly. It's better than Fires of Invention. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Obviously, this is not. But it's okay. Like, it's a one of. You know, it can't be that bad. It's a one of. Aren't you fine with trading? No, because then the Vivian, the Vivian doesn't come down for free. Vivian can make a, a vigil, uh, a rage creature. That one, that one protects her. I mean, I knew they were playing Winota because that was up pretty clear from the cards, but okay. What you gonna do now? I'm interested. Bam, bam, bam. Miss, 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 miss. Bonjour, Brazilok Trap. Miss, 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 miss. No, but like, we didn't lose an attack. Like, I was. Still not attacking here. You want to trade with a Legion Angel with my Quest in Beast? I mean, maybe. All right, I sure. Why did you pump this one? It's dying. Pretty. Should have pumped itself. You're confused. What make? What gives you confusion, Bazaar ninety seven? You know that Winota is actually banned in Historic and not banned in Standard, so there should be no confusion if you see any a Winota in a Magic Arena platform. You speak any other language? Uh, I I can't understand a little bit of like other Europeans' language, like French, Spanish. But that's not supposed to do that. Thank you, the propping block. Thank you for subscribing to tier one, F three X two K. I I I see too much hate towards your comment. Let's not, let's not say those things, please. There's no tempo involved. I don't know what's your idea of tempo. What's the uh, tempo? The fact that my opponent attacked did a very bad attack. Is that what you think? It's a, I'm getting tempo advantage by an opponent jump attacking with the board state. Is really what is tempo? 
Okay, so they found the Cargan War Leader, which is a a very, a very, a very good card here. I mean, come on, yeah. It's a very good card. That was, that was a good hit, Berserker MA. That was a good hit. Okay, what are we doing right now? You're on 15, and I think I'm losing this game. All right, let's do pass. Uh, this one is indestructible right now. Don't win, chat. I do not win this game. Man, they pumped this one and they found the Lord. But I must have your master. Opponent is just the best. Op just the best. That's it. I do not have words to describe this. Aroga. Oh. Che cazzo faccio? Questo magna quello. Questo quello. Do I champ? How much damage is this? 5, 10, 16. Tio bono. Wait, do I win on the back attack? 4, 8. 4, 8, 12, 14. I don't win. I don't win. Mm, white Papa Think, White Papa Think, White Papa Think. Okay, so I don't win right now. But I can top that. What can I top that? Boring Clux lets me win. I one of. Oh, Gem Razor. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna block in a way where I win with Gem Razor. Is that even possible? Oh, it's not possible, right? Because that's 10. It's 20 damage. Yeah, I have to chump. All right, I'll uh, I just block and uh, hope to. I just block and hope to reveal and hope to draw Voring Flex. That's my only out. I didn't want to block with this one. All right, scry. Oh, uh, this card is for, for free, sure. And Voring Flex. Land. You're on top. Do I have any line that makes me survive here? Scavenging Goose, can it do anything for me? I'm opponent as a flyer, but I can make a reach flyer. A very reach flyer. Not blocking a three power creature? Oh yeah, that was a punt. Sorry. Uh, So Scavenging Ooze, yeah. I, I, it's either Scavenging Ooze with a lot of money in my pool. I think that's fine, right? I put a scavenging goose into play, I shouldn't die here. Yeah. Do I sometimes play commander? I do sometimes play commander, yeah. Oh, there's a Kogla on top, that's not bad. There's another scavenging goose on top, but I'm just using the mana to eat this. I go to six. I could have been on nine if I didn't. If I didn't make that bad block. Cause baby, now we got bad blocks. I think that I should do bad blocks. All right, I'm attacking for four. Eh, do I want to attack for more? My come a good game. Why do you say that? Am I just dead on board? I put a said good game. That's scary. I'll talk just with this. Good game, Papango. Good game. Oh, that's why you said good game. All right, I'll allow it. I'll allow the good game. Now, don't you worry. If I click, 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 track, track, click, click. All right, let's go to game three, where I'll try not to not block three damage. I don't think much would have changed, but it's a pleasure to lose the window to one game. I don't want to lose two games, but one game, it's a pleasure to lose the Winota, for real. All right, I think I wanted the Eng. I think I want the big one Eng. I think the great Eng is all right. And I'll click OK button. Why am I tilted? Oh, Hobbit Slayer? Hobbit Slayer, why are you tilted? Tell us. Tell us why. I yeah, I'm water taste. It's very important to... Try the things you don't like. Especially when you're a child and you don't have a good evaluation of cards. Like me. Have I considered an Aya? I have not considered an Aya. But thanks for the question with the smiley face. I always, I always appreciate it. A good, uh, a good smiley face in the message. Ila Raiku. It gives a tremendous amount of value. The thing is that, yes, it gives a tremendous amount of value. But our opponent was on 3 life, if you remember. Maybe if that was like a good creature on turn 2 instead of the tremendous amount of value. 
was better. Our opponent with a good starting hand of turn two, Siege Banneret. Did you consider crashing opponente? I tried, but I, I unfortunately didn't do it. Oh wow, Luminarca Aspirante. Va bene. Can I draw forest? Bravo, 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 Mango09, bravo. I would have preferred as no forest, but you know what? I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Yeah, I think I want to play this Swarm Shambly. And also, you know what? I'm going to crunch, crunch or something. Let's just Lumina Casper, right? Maybe playing Stompy Hype. Hype! Hype! All right, Le Temple de Triomphe. Do I enjoy Standard now or is homework to you? That's a good question, Don Cheer. Honestly, so uh, yesterday and the day before, I've played like only Old School and Legacy in the afternoon. But I was actually looking forward the morning stream. Like, I, I'm not playing Magic Arena in my spare time, but I'm actually looking forward. Because I love to play... I just always love to... Wow, I'll just... Man, Gem Razor, when I go for Gem Razor, it just feels so nasty. Anyway, I was saying that I, 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 I don't play Arena in my spare time, but I do love to play it, right? I do love to play different formats all the time. So, like, so, like, uh, for example, you know, yesterday night, I was, I was in my bed, I'm like, alright, tomorrow do we play, we'll play Monogreen Fui, alright, it's gonna be cool, I wanna try that, I wanna try new draft. So, basically, I just enjoy, I just enjoy streaming new, new decks. Like, I just enjoy playing new decks. That's, that's, the, that's my answer. Like, I just love to play Magic and just play new cards, because, like, the same for, like, for example, you know, like, playing one format, after, like, a month, I get bored, you know? And that's the good thing of Standard and Draft, because they always change. That's just a different thing. Man, I keep on hoping this, this two lands hand. This two lands hand has such a high fail rate. I, I mean, I'm keeping them, but you should just know that whenever you keep these kind of hands, you just lose. Because you just don't draw the third one. Am I a Pelt Collector? No, no, no. No, no, I only collect magic cards. Untapped as a make us client now? Good. All right. I, I, I just always get there, but I think this is like very lucky. The fact that I'm just always drawing the third land all the time. <laughs> Whatever. This step only plus 24. All right, opponent, uh, opponent spent a lot of money on this client. Thank you very much, opponent, for supporting me. Wait, you have all this, like, pretty art and you play those shitty lands? Come on. All right, I got very lucky here. Uh, let's just cast all growth throw. Hello, Philostratom. Your message is very, very long. Uh, can you, like, sum it up for a streamer that has to play and try to read everyone in the chat? All right, if they play 2 1 with Flash, whatever, they trade it. If I play it against you. No, Sab, I don't think this is your. I don't think you're my opponent because Daisy, they clearly like, spent money on the client, whereas you are the one and only free to play gamer, Sab underscore 13, with the Apollo Spritz badge. Wow, I just drew more lands. That's so lucky. Hello. What does this do? Enchant forest. <laughs> That's funny. They only can enchant a forest. Does this go my thing, you think? Chat. Eh? Maybe. <laughs> I think probably. That's what happens. If this thing dies, it goes on my forest, right? Yeah. <laughs> to be zero, can you? Where is it written? Can you? Return it to the battlefield. It, I don't, but, but maybe. Oh, we'll see. Goes to opponent land. No, no, it's an enchant forest. It can't go to an opponent land. They don't have any forest. By the way, let me think if that's actually the right play to go old growth throw attack. I think it should. It, it's actually not. It's. I don't want to trade here. I don't want to trade. 
la 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 yeah yeah maybe maybe you should play triumph over 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 a temple now all right i'll uh i'll pass i'll pass it to you opponent have i seen the former cult pre-modern i don't know i'd uh never seen it i mean i know what it is but i've never seen it i've never seen anybody playing it yeah, my girlfriend is right now watching those on Craig. Don't ask me why. Wow, they just stole my trolls. Babe. Man, how is possible? Demi Rogue is just the stone tier one every single format. It doesn't matter what cards you print. This deck is just broken every time. Why not? I don't know, it's so old. Like, why would you watch something so old? Like she even asked me, she's like, do you want to watch it with me? I said, no, I don't. Why would I watch that? <laughs> that would be vast. I mean, this is just, there's, it's not even close. It's not even close. Will Summer see legal? Will Summer would be rooted out. It's a core set M20. All right, playing as this stone tier one of the format, well, as other people just try to fool themselves by thinking it isn't. But it's good. That makes my Espero in the deck playable, the fact that people think that Rogue isn't good. All right, do I want, do I want some uh, expensive cards against their two mana counter spell deck? <laughs> uh, it's so not close. All right, um, I think I'm gonna actually bring in these guys. This fellas, hello fella. All right, six mana up, <laughs> six, six, we'll sub get sideboarded out. This might actually be all right. No, I think I have to just cut, cut, cut expensive cards, but I can't cut the ink. Cut this one. What about Jemmy, Jemmy boy? What about Jemmy boy? You missed my Esperone? Oh, I, it's a, it's a, there's a new Esperone form. It's now five color. You can go to exclamation mark deck and check it out. Very, very strong. Maybe someone can make Rakdos work. Maybe that someone is you, Eli. Maybe that is you. Reach on Razor is nice though. Yeah. I know, I don't know. Format 4-4 four, four is not really my type. But yeah, maybe. Rumti said this matchup is unwinnable. <laughs> I don't know, I'll uh, say unwinnable, but it's de definitely, it definitely felt like we were playing a different game. It definitely felt like I were playing a different game. Like, we were, this, this past game, we were just playing a different game. Is Question Beast bad against Lul Mage? Tell me a card that isn't very bad against Lul Mage. I do have four snakeskin um, guy, the, the, the one, the, 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 the new Rangers guy. Buongiorno, Gira Uno. This weekend chat, I'll be playing, uh, I'll be buying a Furley's pack from Gira Uno, and I'll be playing some Caldame paper against him. That would be excited. Illustrato, you should never put the uh, snow land in your deck if you don't have a real payoff. In my case, I have Blizzard Brawl, which is a very real payoff. If you don't have any payoff, you should never put them, no. Perelis at Gira Uno's home, exactly. Perelis at home, but not yours. It also, Channel Fireball just sent me an email this morning, which I just had to say, basically, they will do a streaming where they'll be opening uh, a lot of expensive things, like collector collector booster, set booster boxes, and etc. And uh, I have to... Um, I basically joined an eight people pod or something, and uh, I just get all the cards from a caller at random. It's pretty hard to understand. I had to read the email three times, but in the end, I decided I understood that they were just giving me free foil stuff. So I said, "Yes, give it to me." Maybe maybe I can get something good for the cube. Oh wow, they topped out, and they topped like this. I'll attack with all. I don't care. I don't care. You can attack me with your 1 3. Yours truly? Is it you, Kandark? Are you the number one with Modern Green Stompy? 
Nice. Man, all these number one people must be nice. You know, Chad, that I've only been number one once in my life. And it was back in the day when, like, there weren't that many tryhard. It was, like, summer 2019. Life was good, though. Hey, life was good back then. Oppure wants to play the tap out game. E allora, to, magna di questo. Pezzo di merda. Oh, Chad, there's a very important rule. There's a very important rule right now. You have to listen to me about this. So whenever I say swear words in Italian, you have not to translate them. That's a very important, you know, I, I can't keep on swearing in Italian and keep everybody entertained as long as you guys don't translate it, okay? Because what happens is that I do the, the thing and people go like, oh, let me show my big brain Italian. Let me translate your swear words. No, you don't have to do it. That's part of the joke, all right? Because then what happened? What happened is this. What happened is this, porca boia. What happened is that I, I post my very cool and interesting video on channel Fireball because I thought it was like very good, very good content. I post it on channel Fireball and then, and then like a guy goes like, what did you say, Pepe Hands? And another Italian just freaking translated it. And Channel Fireball answered, be like, hmm, hmm, you know, they, they say, I, 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 and this is all good and fun, but like, I don't want them to be like, Mango, we can't allow your behavior. Your behavior is disrupting child at home. Okay. We don't want to pay you anymore. Your contract with us is finished. And then I don't have a job anymore because. You think that uh, this streaming uh, is keeping it up together? It's not. It's not. So yeah. Okay. This is this is this is it. All right. Okay. Stop with that. My point is one swamp up. There's no fatal push. We can go double brawl and probably that's it. Do we want to do that? I think so. I'll begin with a great Ange. And strak is prak. E poi sprak is stratatrak. E poi spara, 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 spara. All right. We won a very easy game. Our opponent just decided to tap out every single turn of the game and let us win very, very easily. Very, very easily, chat. All right? Very, very easily. Hopefully they keep on tapping out on their turn and we keep on, you know, just drawing cards on our curve. We want to have all the Jemmy boys. Jemmy boys is rich. But where do I put it? I don't have that many ways. I don't have like that many places to put it. No, I think this is all, this is all right. Yeah, this bug is a space bar. Stefano, don't tell me it was you. Was it you? No way. No way where was you. All right. Uh, Ponente goes first. My hand is very strong. Just joking, I would never. All right, good, good, good. Otherwise, I would have, uh, I would have punished. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> what do you think about In Search of Greatness? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. We're trying it. There's a one copy of it. Am I satisfied with Troll? I think the Troll is just a good, a good old mono green card. You just play it, you know exactly what's coming. It's a 3 mana 4 4 with a minor ability, and uh, if the 3 mana 4 4 cuts it, then you want it. Not? No, Brazer Brawl is much better in Primal Might. It costs 1 mana. It costs 1 mana, and it does like much better than that. <gasps> Skycliff Shade? That's a weird cyber card. Why would you add that? I'm not playing Gasper Doom. I guess this, this opponent is used to cyber discarding against. Mango 09 on Esper Doom. No, Dr. Brizza Bra is just crazy good, I think. Just crazy good. Here I could have just leveled this up, but I don't think. Ooh. Ooh, Snakeskin Bill. Okay. Okay. 
And now we're back in the I play standard, you play legacy kind of game, I think. Where my opponent just plays everything instant speed and I'm just so much behind and it's probably impossible to fight back. Is there are times you need to pump from Primal Might do? Why? What do I need to pump for? Valky and your new green enchantment. Oh wow, can you put the Planeswalker off of, Val off of the green enchantment if you have a one drop? No way, can you? Thank you, Samu Blitz. Yeah, this is how I started playing. This is how I started learning English very well. When I was uh, when I was a child, basically, I you know I just learned Italian way of learning English, which is like basically not knowing it at all. But I was watching. I remember watching Channel Fireball video back in the days. We had Collywood's videos. We had. Um, I remember Tom Martell was making video. And um, I was just listening to them. I wasn't understanding much, but I, I was, just, that's how I learned magic. Sorry, magic English. And then I, you know, went to the first PT with a bunch of English people, sorry, American people, actually some English as well. And I was able to like have a discussion at least. And then, uh, you know, things moved on and now I'm able to just speak English fluently, but it all started. It all started with uh, just watching CFB videos. I remember at the beginning, all I did was all I did was watching Collywood's videos and the draft logs of Ochoa. I was only watching limited content at the beginning. I remember it was Industrad, Industrad drafts. David Ochoa. Yeah, he was like writing the text articles. Anyone else on Insta concede when Ugi and Ansel are battlefield? Not just friends. We love to play Magic. We don't Insta concede. But if you want to do, you're free to do that. Story crafted by the sponsor? Alright. Yeah, if you want to think that. It's okay. Alright, I missed the land drop, which was crucial. I think if I got a land drop to play Vivian, this game would have been fine. But as it is, I think I can't win this game. Manco play cats. But let's keep on clicking buttons. Buongiornissimo, Ferebello. I don't think that works, Rick Sakin. But it could be. If you like Shadow more and Eventide, mm, I don't remember at all. That's so long ago. How could I remember those things? E non vinco, my, my. All right, I think I'm gonna play my snake skin veil here. I think I have to do this. This way, the Vivian's Monster Advocate can come. Sorry, the Great Anger can come down. No oh, land. You was at the F in school. Yeah. No, but English, I think. Uh, it's, it's it's just taught very very badly in Italy, like they just just like like they just should do brand new just they should just redo the whole like how to teach the subject like entirely, like they should stop teaching freaking like Shakespeare and like obsolete and useless stuff like that. I'm not saying that it's useless. I'm just saying that it's useless in the like you have to teach English first. And then you can teach, like, you know, and then you can learn everything else. Like, they basically teach English at school in Italy in the same way they teach Latin. Which is, mostly, you learn about, like, the writer, the philosophy, and stuff like that. But you can't do that in English, because English is an actual live language. It's not a dead language. Allora, I'm on five. I'm on five. I'm on five. I can play Vivian, make a token, pass it back, or I can play Mr. Mr. Cheney Wee. I can play I can play Cheney Weeb. And then I got a good blocker. It's a four or five. Um yeah, I think that is better. I think I'll play the Rachno. Rachnid. And also, there was a way my Gregor gets thin and smart. Chini Weeb. 
kill that. And you can go upon enter. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not attacking with anything. Honestly, we might just be stalling here. Unless they steal my Cheney Weep with the three blue card. Please don't cast it down. Tepaigo, no, Tepaigo, no, don't cast it, don't cast it, don't cast it. Don't cast it, don't cast it, don't cast it. But yeah, it was very important to let the, the Swarm Shambler survive with this Nace Game Veil earlier. If I didn't do that, I think I would have lost this game. Here. Okay, they don't have it. Must be. They don't have it, chat. Oh, another Cheney Weep? Woo! That's pretty lucky. I just got exactly two of those, honestly. Oh wow, it's exactly seven cards. Die, 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 die. We can win this game. We can win this game, Castle. We can win this game. I'm positive. Good morning, Gaminil. Yeah, right, right now I think the best way to learn English as an Italian or, I don't know, as a French or as a German, as a Spanish, is just by uh, watching content. Like, if you play Magic, watching Magic content in English. If you play, like, if you don't play Magic, just by, like, listening to podcasts or uh, just watching Netflix in English with the subtitles, you know, stuff like that. I think that is the best, the best, uh, the best way you can learn the language right now because school is just not it. Like, school isn't the way, I think. All right, again, I could cast Vivian, but I think I just want to just play this because, because this will make so that... Yeah. Okay, 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 we got some Cheney Weeb here. Oh, no, 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 this is better. I could kill this one because they can't draw, but this is better. You told me I don't need school. I do believe that, Blowy. I do believe that. I do believe that. I think that's, at least English as, as right now is, is not functional. And same thing with for so many other subjects, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh no no, you, you you did open a good topic. You did open a good topic. Like try to listen to my to my interview. I'll open it up because I don't I don't have much to do. Opponent is playing the big brain deck. I'm just playing mono green. Um, hello, I'm in Gucci Vasuri, the Duke, PT Journey into Nyx. Right. So, uh, PT Journey into Nyx. Yeah. So this PT is uh, 2014. Okay, so seven years ago. Hey guys, Marshall Suckup down here in the feature match area with Andrea Mangucci, and that was an incredible game. Now, you told me, Andrea, that Reed Duke is actually your favorite player here on the Pro Tour. Yes, it is. I, I've I always read this article, always um, keep uh, in mind what you say, like avoid red, red and grass. I always, always like, tend, tend to go grand blue, 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 blue or uh, red black, and, and always play junk. When it's play junk, like, like I'm, I'm fan number, number one, one in it. Okay, okay, now, you see, so, that was, you know, it's not that, that was, that was, that was an English, that was just, so seven years ago, I think I you, I was, I think, I was not, I was not going to school anymore, but that was just the English, right after, just, you know, just after, after school, basically, you know, that was, that was the English, that you, you learn at school, and maybe again, I was just starting to get into Channel Fireball content, 2014, yeah. What was in this trial? That was 2011, so I was still like three years into like, listening to a lot of content and etc. And that was, you know, I'll look, I'm not Timino, because here I'm at nine cards, this guy is about to die. Do I just double block it? Did, did they play already a thing from the graveyard? Yeah, I believe they did. Yeah, they've got double block it. Yeah, 2014 is seven years ago, right? Reed is still my favorite. Yeah, Reed is always be always be the favorite. But yeah, that's the that's the whole YouTube video if you guys want to watch it. That was a not bad. Yeah, I just keep on doing these things. I wouldn't mind drawing. Uh, I wouldn't mind drawing here. Um, scavenging goose actually. Oh, 
people. I mean, the average Italian politician hasn't hasn't speak English for six months, six six years or something like I did. So that's that's also one of the reasons. All right, so this chain of weeb is just cutting down everything. I might just start attacking here, honestly. Huh? Oh, my equity. Wow. Oh, you know what's happening here? They have uh, the reanimation card, the Agadim's thing. Who's my favorite player right now? I don't have such things anymore. It's fine. I mean, my favorite player is Federbello ninety eight xxx. Right. So they did the thing. Very strong. What a card is Agadim's. I keep on drawing this expensive card, Madonna che merda. Oh. How do I how do I even win this game? Do I just play Vivian here? Sure, I will. I don't think come Alright, am I dead on board? I do block block more No 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 I'm not dead. Playing rogues just makes you like such a big brain player, honestly. Such a big brain player is playing rogues. You just have all the answers at all the time. All right, it's too hot for me. I have to, I have to, I have to change. Uh, I have to change T-shirt. One second. I put the I put the, the short sleeves t-shirt because I had the I had the long sleeves t-shirt first. No blocks. This game is finally over. You want the ball tricker band? Uh, Wheelman MTG. You have to understand that Magic is a high variance game. All right, you go first. Man, what a clunky deck! Just look at my hand. How can a deck like this but just survive? I can't cancel it. All right, skip this one. Man, what a what a clunky deck. Mono four drop. <sighs> Hola, Carla. Didn't Kaldra for me to get banned because it was annoying and not overpowered. That's a good point. That's a very good point. It was also just like not a bad deck though. It was like okay. It wasn't like unplayable in the real environment. They now Israel was at 64. Was he playing best of three? Was he playing like Mythic Best of Three? Or was he playing Best of One Gold? Like I'm not not like nothing against him. I'm just saying that. Best of one is a different game. Like they might ban best of they might ban it in best of one, maybe. Oh wow. Dad, did you see what happened here? Did you see what happened here? You can go exclamation mark Temple of Malice. They did ban Nexus of Fate only in Best of One, honestly. Like it happened once. Yeah, exactly. They, they did ban Wakari only in Best of One. No, nobody. Hey, it happened. Can happen again. I wonder what they'll do. I doubt it, Jeffrey. I doubt it. They'll ban uh, T-Bot Striker in standard. But if it happens, it's certainly like um, it's certainly something that will take me um, surprise off surprise. Let me tell you. Oh, bet four mana three three now. Which chat elitist? It's not so best of one. I'm not saying the best of one isn't magic. I'm just saying that you can't. It, there are two different formats. There are two different games. No, but for real, I'm not joking. Like you can't see a list of my best of three decks and be like, oh, that's gonna be okay in best of one. It's not. It's a different game. So if my experience is only best of three, I can tell you that that card would never be banned in best of three. But 
also like I can tell you that usually wizards ban the cards based on their win rates at premier events, and premier events are never best of one. Wow, Valky and it breaks. Nice. So maybe they do something where they just see the win percentage of best of one, and they see that, um, and they see that. Um, that that deck is broken in best of one and they will ban it in best of one. But I am not qualified to answer your question if that's the case. Good day, Dexterity. For me, it's never going to be banned, but that doesn't mean that... All right, I'm going to give it Vigilance. That doesn't mean that it's actually what's happening because I'm not qualified to answer your question about the about, about trickery. Arena opened, but it's only best of it's only game day one. And day one you don't get any money from day one. So, you know, Arena opened, it's not a there's no premier event in best of one. There was only one. And it was won by yours truly. The best best of one player in the world, Andrea Mengucci. You're the only one who doesn't rate Valky. Yeah, I don't think Valky is good in standard, honestly. I think this card is good in uh Uro formats. How do you beat Tibalt's trickery? First thing first, sometimes they beat themselves. And second, with Cyborg. For example, if you look at my Esperone deck, I have uh, Negates, 4, and I have Mystical Dispute, 4. So, that's a way. It's okay, yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's not real magic. I said that it's a different format. I didn't say it's real magic. All right. Uh, there's a troll on top of the deck. I think I'm gonna get a good old scavenging booze in this matchup, right? Let me read this card. Quatamata flying. Whenever it becomes tap, exalt to target one creature from a graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on this thing. Sacrifice another creature, it gets indestructible. E che faccio? Ah, let's start by adding six mana here. I have seven mana in my pool. One second, bro. We've done already. Ugh. No, I think I'm just gonna make a token, right? Just gonna make a token here. Sure. All right, that was a good find off the top. It's a Q and a B. It's a Q and a B. All right, I'll play. So here, right now, should this predator will be able to block my quest in beast and trades it, right? And trades with it. Sacrifice another creature gets indestructible. Oh, no, 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 no. It just gains indestructible. It doesn't get a counter. Okay. Oh, wait, wait a sec. When this card becomes tapped, it's a... Oh, wow. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Cazzo. That's true. All right, that's cool. That card is cool. Reach. Again, I can't attack with everything. We did anything here, right? I mean, I guess I can attack with this beast. And with this Vigilance. Yeah, Ooze would have been okay, but I also felt like this thing is not really like a threat right now, so like it could it could cut, they could have it. So many words on the card it becomes a Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I don't wouldn't say so. I, I've never I've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh, but No, I'm just passing here. I don't want to attack. There's there's a lot of words, but once you start playing with them, it's like alright. Can it still gain indestructible if it's already tapped? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Definitely gets indestructible. Like, I don't wanna... S mm. Yeah. So I only need to deal with this thing eventually. I guess like Vivian deals with this, like... Like, I have a reach token. Tamping is not a cost. Tap it. Yeah, exactly. It's not a cost. You just tap it because of it. So if there's another creature, it gets indestructible and you tap it. And uh, now the first sentence applies, which is whenever it becomes tapped, you exile the target card from a graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on it. Hello, Justin. Exactly. I was thinking about the super shop. I don't think it will get a counter if I exile the card in response. So that will be my way to deal with this, I think. Next turn, I'm gonna play Gem Razor minus two Vivian, get Ooze. This, this turn, I didn't want to do that with the Ooze because I couldn't protect the Vivian. Okay? 
I mean, I could have with this, this, but I could have just had a removal spell, maybe. Whereas now, Vivian doesn't die even through a removal spell. Because this card cannot get more than one counter. Am I right? Yeah, this card cannot get more than one counter. You got it, right, chat? Did you get it? Did you get why I did the thing? It wasn't easy, like, I, it's not that I immediately thought about every play, but... Okay, now I'm doing the Gem Razor. And I'll go get Ooze. And with Ooze, I can do some cleaning. Scavenging Ooze is very good in these kind of matchups. Also, I shuffle my deck, which is very good for Vivian. Or, unfortunately, I found another Forest on top, but that's okay. I'll just do some, like, Graveyard Cleaning. Actually, I won't touch my Graveyard. Hey, let's go to combat. On, what about this? Yeah, two. That's it. Yeah, if they want to trade with this, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. Why don't mutate? If I mutate, I don't trigger the minus two of Vivian. I don't get the ooze. I wanted to get the ooze here. I don't believe this card to be remotely relevant. Old mana. I didn't. I couldn't have old mana because I had the six mana from Castle. You might have argued that I shouldn't have done it, but what if I find the creature on top of the deck after I shuffle the graveyard? You know, I just found another forest. If I find the creature, I tapping the castle would have been good here. All right. So a bunch of people dies. Fabian. Morning, Rido Peño. Pam, pam, pam. Okay, trigger. This one will go on a forest. Actually, the forest will have two mana now, so that's not that's no joke. All right, now you have that creature right there. I'll exile that immediately before you can do any value with it. You can go in the upkeep. You'll mill one. Whenever it becomes tapped, yeah, yeah, I'll pass here. Mm, va bene. So last week I've heard a lot of a. Uh... Oh, look, they found this one. And now this card has actually text. Last week I've heard a lot of, um, you know, just Magic players doing like rankings of their top five cards of the set, and lots of people put Vaki among them. I'm not so sure. I don't think this card is top five at all in standard, standard wise, but uh, it could be good in historic. Although right now I don't have any tournament historic, and. Um, I just have done much like interest in trying that format. There will definitely be a moment where I go back playing the story. Anyway, my opponent is attacking here, so they target a thing. They target my thing. I think I'll steal it. Let's see what happens. So, Scamaging Goose, I'll steal it. And this card shouldn't get a counter. Let me make sure it's that I do. Is that how it works? Let's see. This one resolves. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, I didn't get a counter. All right, chat, we learned. We learned a thing. And I'm going to exile this one. If they want to respond by eating with the Throne of Death, and they pay three money in their main phase. Okay, now I'll block. They sacrifice this one, put a counter, tap it, whatever. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Mutating counts same? Really? I didn't know that. Thanks, chat. I've never, I guess I've never casted a mutate card with this. Thanks. I didn't know that. All right. They play a gone from hand and they play Bon Crash RG. How would you play a gone from hand? I guess it just stops my, my attack. All right. I find this Worm Shambler on top. Very good. Let me do some glue, glue, glue first because I'm thirsty. Doing the tier list of the MP arrivals, I think it's a very, very... I mean, it might not seem, but it's a very bad thing. I remember being uh, in a... So now Magic, uh, everybody's a friend, and they just have their back. But before, Magic was like a very, like, uh, elitist place, especially pro-Magic. And it was an up upcoming... 
upcoming uh, just magic player didn't even speak the language as you as you might have heard and i remember seeing on a table like a list of players and i was and i was like towards the end and i felt like very sad because i knew that people who wrote that list were actually like people that i um that i thought that were my friend so i saw that list and i felt and i just felt very bad you know so i don't want to do a thing where someone inevitably goes at the bottom inevitably it's inevitable that somebody goes at the bottom and once you do that you just hurt someone and why would you hurt someone for for no value i don't know like getting twitter like okay um mm -mm, what should we do now Vivian just gets a reach token A poi, so my jet, my scavenging ooze can be a 7-7, seven, seven, so I don't want to attack though. Can this be only used as a sorcery speed? I don't know, it's too long. No, I can do it in my opponent's turn as well. Hey, allora, basta, I've done my turn. I guess I'm not done my turn, I'll, I'll, I'll exile this Valky in my turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile two cards from your graveyard. That's fine, I'll put a stop here and I'll just exile things here. In search for greatness, man, this is such a bad card. This is such a bad card. It is good, like you have to play new cards if you want to just, you know, try them. But man, this card, like it's pretty obvious that it was a bad card. All right, so the mill one, in order, give me priority, give me priority. Oh, I'm back. In order, we have to just eat their graveyard before, before they can like, like this is like Jotungrund, right? Exalted cards in your graveyard, sure. If you can't sacrifice and draw a card, it's not even that bad. Also, Agon is a bad card. I don't know. I mean, it's a bad card because they have the ooze. Otherwise, it's not a bad card. Now, Magic, by the way, is just a great place. You know, just like all the, all the like, all the like top pros and everything. They just love each other so much for real. Unfortunately, like. You know, Krukis is a personality that some people don't like. But I honestly, I honestly have like a lot of respect for him. I think he did a thing that no other Magic player has ever done, which was like barging in, which is like barging in a community without knowing anybody and just, just go right on top of it. That was a thing that in Magic you've just never seen it before. Never seen it before. So that was that was pretty nice. Like for real. Like he just did something that was just unique. And it's okay. You can love him or hate him. And it's going to be fine. Like it's 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 okay. You know, he's just it's it's very tough to just, you know, entering in a community that's like twenty years old of people. 20 years old of old people. That's the difference as well. Coming in with, of course, no results because you're just new to the game. And the game is just so difficult that it's not going to be easy to get those results. Like, you need to, like, it's going to be long, long. And, like, what do you have to do? Just wait 20 years before you can, like, you know, talk shit about other people? No. You know, he just wants to do that immediately because, like, he has the viewers to back it up. And a, a Twitter to back it up. And I think it's fine. It's honestly just okay. It's honestly just okay. You know, a lot of people got angry with him. And... I think it's alright. Alright, so I took that so they don't get the counter. Not that it really matters, but man, this game is boring. Jeez, why is every game boring? I guess because, like, that's, that's the deck that I'm playing that is boring. It could be. Yeah, but being the person that's the most net deck just doesn't say much, but sure. I mean, I, again, I... Allora, caccia due no mana. Oh yeah, yeah, go back to Esperone, oh for sure. And people just ask me, why don't you play Pepega Gruul or Pepega Green? <laughs> why would I do this? Like, why would I, why would I spend mana? 
That standard is great, right? I, th I, th I think it is. Standard is fun. I mean, unless you put in search of greatness in your deck, like, I think I think it can be fun. Oh look, this is a nine nine. I ain't triple block it. Okay, Koyoni. I just put a token and pass. Yeah, I don't play the trigger right now. Sorry. I'm sure there's uh, some content out there for that deck. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very good. For sure, it's very good. But do you get that it doesn't matter how good you are if, uh, if it doesn't matter how good you are on the arena ladder, you know? Like, it just... Like, again, I'm not saying this to minimize his result at all. I'm just saying that if people are actually arguing about who's the best... And he just puts it in a, in in the standings in a set with like you know the best for real. You just you just can't compare. But again, this is like you shouldn't do like standings of that thing because that will inevitably make some people upset, as I said earlier. And I honestly, I honestly, you know, when I saw when I saw his list, I honestly just chuckled. I was just I just laughed and pressed like. You know, I wasn't outraged and had to do like oh. You know, stuff like that. That's This is game one by the way. This is game one by the way. Just just saying. Just saying that this is game one. I know that that's the thing you would have never wanted to hear, but this is game one. Man. This means that there's gonna be another match and maybe even two match. Sorry, two games. Two games. Games are longer with a control deck. No, I no, not at all. Not at all. Oh, games are longer than a control deck. Okay, okay, Chucks. Yeah, 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 right? Because also, like... Actually, I, I, just, I just realized this game was over turn one because I played Temple of Malice. I, I forgot about it. Go back to 5 quarter Yorin. It might be that just this game takes so long that I don't go back to anything. That the world would just be over. And we will not, we'll just not get another game of magic after this game, after this match. Could be draft after this game, could be. I just want to draft aggro. I don't want to draft like all this no nonsense that people post on Twitter about. I don't know. Every time I. Once I drafted Snow and it wasn't even competitive, like people just stomped on me. And yesterday I drafted Boris aggro, and every time my opponent put a Snow land into play, they just got stomped. You just proved the point once more. What point did I prove, Rakbi? This game ends with the hit death of the universe. Could be. Could be. Will you replace In Search of Greatness with Sirfaren? No, no. I don't want to replace that with a 2 2. I don't know. I am not a person to ask Mono Green related question, chat. This will be the last time I'll play so many forests, I swear. Mono green is the reason why Rakdos is unplayable. No, it's not that. Rakdos, it just, it just is, is that's it. No, but mono green doesn't have to do much with Rakdos playability. All right. Hey, I'll uh, in my upkeep chat. I'll do a very powerful play. Watch it. Watch it, chat. Watch, watch the powerful play. I will scry a land to the bottom. And draw a card. Man, that's that was a very powerful play. Thank you so much, In Search of Goodness, for providing In Search of Greatness, for providing uh, for providing us just such a such a broken effect that no other Magic the Gathering card would have ever uh, would have ever you know we just spent two mana. And we scryed one card the following turn. That is, that is an effect that it's unparalleled. And I would definitely put this card in my top five. And I would say that this card is potentially be bannable for sure. All right, I'll tap for twelve. Did I try Burgi? 
No, but I don't. I don't know where would you put it. I don't. I don't know why would you put it. Square one every turn is good. <laughs> yeah. As I said yesterday, so yesterday I was playing my Esperona deck and having a good time, and I played against this card, and I'm like, mm, that doesn't seem very good. And then the following turn, I played against this card, and I was, guys, if you really like to go card disadvantage. There's an easier route. It's just to mulligan. If you just mulligan, it is, you're gonna accomplish the same thing. Did you see the open of the Omen Path mooted combo? I did not. I did not. Actually, don't see very much. I don't see very much. All you see me seeing is. Que fa questo? Exapto, turn from a graveyard, put a. All I see whenever I don't stream is just uh, old school legacy and uh, and sometimes draft cube stuff like that. I don't really play. Allora, what's their deck size? It's twenty two. Bringing in Cosima feels good. Oh yeah, Cosima is a good card. <laughs> Cosima is definitely a good card. You are to be banned. I don't know. I think you are to be banned. There's a more. Allora, cosa facciamo qua? Via. 4 4. Bam. Good morning, Balfather. Is disease game one. And let me tell you, game two will be, will be probably the same length. I just want to tell you, as Kamaji goes, did such a cleaning that not even my mom on a Sunday. My mom on a Sunday, she does a very good cleaning. Everything is very clean on Sunday morning. But, you know, a scavenger goose in play against a red-black Automil opponent, it does it even better! You will never believe it. But Mo scavenger goose cleans more than my mom. So, I just learned... You help mom? No, I don't. I don't help her, Pixie, I do. I actually complain sometimes that because I'm always recording on Sunday morning and she's always there with the hoover and I'm like, Mama Pepe hands don't make too much noise. Minus two. Sunday's rest day, no work. No, a mama never has a rest day. If you're a mom, there's no rest day. The cast of the forest to change the mass of the merda. Yeah, exactly. Hoover at 9 a.m. in the morning is a must. And now the questions. He is our opponent dead. That will never be dead. Never. Ma tipo proprio mai, 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 mai. As, yeah, in Italian, Hoover is aspirapolvere, which is like dust. That's that's the translation. It's just a combined two. Oh, it was very loud. Why it's so loud? What's yeah, successo? Sorry, chat. It wasn't mean to be so loud. Did I just probably just misclick something? Nerd keeper, you just woke up the whole neighborhood. Nerd knee reaper, you just woke up the whole neighborhood. I'm sure there's like, you know, some Americans that were just about to fall asleep. They were like in their in their sweet like sleep time. I mean, this game must have put you a lot of people in sleep, this game. Finally over. Thank you so much, Nerd Knee Reaper, for your subscription. America's going to sleep? Not at this time. Did Andrea just say Reaper? I, I, I did say Reaper. Is the Aussies? No, no way. Aussies are Aussies are in their like full of their day. They're like just having a nice. I don't know what the Aussies have. I remember once. Actually, let's not remember anything. All right, Scavenging Goose, they've been all right. 
What's it like? This sideboard is so. Why, why are there so many expensive cards in this sideboard? Like, for real. Blizzard Brawl. Brawl. Do I want to chain with a rock near? I'm probably not. Aspiradora. Aspiradora in Spanish? That's sweet. Alright, I don't wanna I don't even wanna sideboard. Alright, thankfully there is insert for grace. See, this is why best of three superior, because it's so you can board these cards out. I didn't try single Boring Clux, by the way. Well Boring Clux doesn't seem good in this matchup. I'm sorry, Boring Clux fans out there. I don't think that card is particularly strong. I think that can't really be the great Eng. Or Eng. How do you say? Eng or Eng? Oh. Alright, I think I've ran out of clicking a uh, random button and we can submit the vote. Is that the Norshan Nessian or the Beetle? It is. It is. Eng versus Tibalt. Huh? We've been talking and double reach. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this no covered. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this no covered art, I have to say. Big Snowstorm? Every time I see on the news of like about like this no storm, I, I don't think I can play any spell here. Every time I see on the news like this no storm, I'm always wondering. I'm uh, sorry, I'm always like thankful that I live uh, in a place where it doesn't really snow. I, you know? Sometimes I get. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what I want to say right now. I just put a your way to play. You like snow? I don't. This is such a sad card. <laughs> this is such a sad card. Yeah, I don't love snow. I mean, I guess I like snow like once. You'll be like, oh, look, there's snow. That's cool. But that's it, like, whenever I see people it's every morning, they have to, like, take their shovel and just shovel the snow out, I'm like, ah, so much. Yorvo is the same version of Yorion? Yeah, yeah, one is the three mana four four with no way to be, that makes you feel very sad when you cast it, and the other one, it, it just feels your empty, it just, just feels your emptiness with love, fun, and card advantage. Yeah, they're definitely the same thing. The same exact thing. Alright, I'll play an ooze and pass here. Because this way it doesn't die to... Oh, Crusher Giant. Exactly, blow a mana cost, everything. He's doing so much here right now? Yeah, I'm so not jealous. I'm so happy. Alright, I'll show you guys, I'll show, I'll show you guys beautiful Senegalia view. Right now. In front of my, from my window. This is Senegalia right now. Okay. Not even a cloud. Not even a cloud. I'm sure it's also just hot out there. Beautiful Senegalia. Mamma mia. What a beautiful city I live in. And people in Senegalia go like, Oh, this city sucks. Sucks in cats. So. Il cazzo chat. And I'm sitting on a PC. I mean, I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Because, uh, there's COVID out there. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. But I can't go out there. But uh, it's just better that I stay inside and play the computer on this very comfortable chair. Imaging seeing sunlight in winter. Sag. Sag. Alright, what's happening over there? My opponent might just time out. How much time do you have? Wait, they actually have the same time as I do. That's sad. I can't attack away. Why did you do the attack opponent? Alright. Yolvo. What do you do? I call my Bonecrusher Giant. Oh, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Fine. Can you already get a vaccination in Italy? Only if you're like super old or you work in the medic. I I don't expect to be vaccinated like, I don't know, until summer. 
I would love to, but unfortunately, there's uh, old people comes first, and uh, people that work in uh, yeah, all right in the in the things. I think I'll uh, yeah just cast these two. My Nation Horn Beetle gets a value. No, I puff. I was thinking it to Modena, not to Brescia. Brescia doesn't get it apparently. Last time you hitchhiked to Italy from Czech Republic. What does hitchhiked means? Is it like this where we go on the street and you hope for people to? Lend you a hand? Man! I would never do such a thing. Ah that's that's a really a kekava. That's that's kekava for me. Lura, right now I have six lands, which is very far away from my friend Ugin. I'll play Swarmy Boy and I'll play Scavenging Booze. This card isn't bad. This card isn't bad. The God of Death is not a bad card. Don't hate on this card. This card is as potential. Problem of the deck is that if you had to play the card, you have to play Team Art Calls the Dead. But other than that, this card is potential. Hmm, that's a good point, Doctor. What about a rear? What's the rear? Turn on a 6-6, not bad. It's not just that. It's a turn on a 6-6 that requires you to build the deck properly, and if it dies, you just draw a card. Would you consider it splashing for Drachma in this deck? I wouldn't consider this deck anymore, no. And, uh, that's it. Well, opponent cycle the two Shredder Seals. I think if I draw it, and then just, just think stone game over. I don't know many... I don't know many uh, anti-artifact cards they boarded it. But a Gregor is literally just 10 cards. Not even a creature. This isn't, this isn't like Jotun Grunt. You put two and then you put four. Did you consider signing out 60 cards from this deck? No, you can't on game two, but after this game is ended. Train to card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lesser, Lesser Typhon. We just do it all together. You really enjoy the tourney. Yeah, bad Nick. Those are like the classic cases where if everything goes good, you're like, oh, I had a good time. If everything goes bad, you're like, oh, it went bad. It just has like a high, I don't know, it has, I feel like it has a high fail rate, I don't know how to say. Opponent just plays a Temple of Mind. they're not even that slow, no, Jack. They have 12 minutes, I have 13, you know? I played matches at the MPL level where my opponent ended with 0 0.006 and I had 12 minutes. Can you believe the difference? Yes, that was actually the difference, and I lost that game. 0 0.006 and at 12 minutes so that is low you know that is is a gun good against rogues yeah doctor that's a good point a gun is good against rogues are you going to brew a deck or play yoria now mango goo sauce what does that mean mango goo sauce yoria now Oh, I might just draft right now. I feel like all oh, my desire to play standard has ended after this game. Hello, they have a 6 6 death fetch, which is no joke. And if you thought it was a joke, the cat's a block. No, but for real, how do I block? You with Mythic Rank 1, give your recognition. Aspired Pro MTG, tag me on Twitter. You go, you post a good tweet with your deck and sideboard, your rank, and tweet blah 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 blah, and then you at Fire Shoes and Mango09, which are, by the way, the two best things to follow on Twitter. Fire Shoes and Mango09. Allora, for sure, block with a troll. I might just go to two. What if we go to two here? Or a jump block, yeah. Okay, I'll jump block.
You don't want to die to stomp? We wouldn't die to swamp because I would gain life before dying to stomp. But still, I could die to, I don't know, a ghost bank dragon. Attach. Oh, yeah, yeah, attach. Thanks. Leverasi Typhoon, you already said that. And I really disagree with that. I really disagree with that. Sure, it, like, you put two cards on the bottom, but you don't have to. You can just let this die. Oh, you can't. Oh, so you have to. Maybe. Maybe then you're right. Oh. Make a 4 4 end step. No, no, I don't want to. I want my, this thing to add 2 mana. Why would you write Caps Lock, Meta Photopel? Before writing Caps Lock, you have to be very, very good at the game. And then you can write Caps Lock. Let's, let's try this rule, okay? Let's try this rule. First, you're like very good at the game, just like a very large brain. And then you can write on Caps Lock. And if you're like, how can I know if I'm very good at the game? You can't. You can't. I guess you, can, you might hope that other people say that, but... Pretty much. Thank you, Rick Benz, for the 100 cheers. And uh, what's on top? Oh, there's a no cover forest. Very good. All right, I'll, um, I'll give a vigilance, le vigilance, combat, put a counter. Hey, do I want to attack here? Uh, ma no, ma che me ne frega, let's pass. Buongiorno, Gerardo. Le belle vigilance. Can I write in caps lock? No, Federbello. You definitely can't. You definitely can't. You think a gun is a good card? Uh, the problem of a gun is that it has to, get, to go together with Temple of Malice. That's a big problem of a gun. Maybe, maybe next standard, you know, when Temple of Malice will rotate out, it can find a home. But right now, it just goes together. Exactly, you can't just decide to sacrifice it. Exactly, I thought that as well. This is just... It's just a dude that needs re that requires setup. Chat, I have a feeling that this game will end soon. You don't you don't need ten pathway. You have you have pathways. Pathways isn't enough. If you play Crux, so you have to have like a very good mana base. Wow! Just delete a message just like that. I like it, Sayo son. I like it. I I I. I agree with your, with your strategy there. Alright, so I could play this Ugin, but I don't think it's worth it. I, I don't think playing Ugin is worth it. I'll just slowly win this game. Slowly. My puppy will slowly. Hey, do you know the meaning of slowly? That's exactly this game. Okay. It's a slow game. It's fake news? No, 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 doctor. I believe it is, though, because earlier that thing targeted and uh, and I removed the commoner or stayed on four. Either it's a bug, which I doubt, or it just didn't work. You know? I, th I think it just didn't get a counter. It didn't get a counter. Only God's work. It's just that so caps lock is obviously whatever, you know. But when you write on Twitch chat with caps lock, telling a play, it comes together as like, you're stupid, you should have done this way. And it's fine when you're right, like when you're clearly right, it's fine, you know. I don't mind. But when you just have no idea, it's just, it's just I think it just makes you feel stupid. And that's it, you know. All right, unfortunately, I don't have priority right now, but I can't really do much. I think it's, I think it's again, it's like one of those classic things that it just really doesn't matter, you know, it's whatever, but it's just general rule for polite, to be a polite person, you should just not do it. But you are on the internet, so nobody needs to be polite. Because, you know, we'll never remember a nickname of a person in the Twitch chat. But I do remember the polite people. 
for example, you know, I definitely do remember the people in my chat that are just polite, asking smart questions and stuff like that. I do also remember the stupid people and one that I shouldn't really not bother. Thank you, Guranes. Welcome for the 11th month. All right, chat, I believe it is this time. Thank you, thank you, Guranes. I believe this is time. It's time for the Spirit Dragon. It is time for the Spirit Dragon here. In, in one of the smart people. So, uh, a very smart person is... No, I'm joking. All right, we got it. Woo! It only took an hour and a half. But the game is finally over. And the Google sponsor just got me right in handy so that I can tell you that if you wanted to support the stream for free and check out my sponsor, there is Hul, which is a thing that you can drink if you want to have a replaceable meal. Because honestly, I think that I would enjoy using if I was living by myself. But I'm not. So, you know, this morning before fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs>